Yeah, that's right. YouTube hates me. They hate me for some reason. And I don't know why. I guess I just don't fit the mold of what it is that they're trying to turn YouTube into. I guess they just want an entire network of cute cat videos or something. But for some reason, I get sanctioned a lot. My videos get demonetized and I get blocked from regular search results. And it's not even so much about the demonetization because, you know, I only have like 2,000 subscribers. I don't make a fortune. I'm not somebody who has like 10 million subscribers and this is my source of income. I, I'm i lucky if I get um, something from AdSense once every few months and it pays a bill and that's great and I appreciate that but I'm not even pulling that off anymore because of how badly YouTube is beating the crap out of this channel and all I basically do is sit here and talk like I'm talking right now if you look at any of the videos now the reason I'm back on this again because I talked about this not too long ago is because the video that I put out Monday where I was talking about rebounds alright basically gave the example of where I've made the mistake rebounding in relationships and learned my lesson thank God and expressing that to other people that it's a good idea to wait, don't rebound. That got sanctioned. That video was sanctioned before it was even processed. Now here, think about the logic of this. Before the video had even finished processing, you know, it took about three minutes to load the video, and while it's processing, in my menu selection, it was already earmarked as being unsuitable. So the video's not even loaded yet, and they're already kicking me in the teeth. And I'm like, geez, you know, give me a freaking break here. Seriously, is it that bad? Is it that bad, YouTube? No, there's no, there's no Bailey's Irish cream in this. I don't drink. It's tea. <laughs> no alcohol for me. But that's how bad it's gotten. I'm going to show you this here because apparently I can't say it on another video. You see this? This is a box set, a DVD collection. You see that title? Saying that title got a video removed because it's on YouTube's list of unacceptable phrases, apparently. Are you, give me a break. Honestly, honestly, we're being policed that badly. So, I'm asking you people, all right, people who watch the channel, what about mirroring the videos on another site? There's a handful of other sites. I know of the names of a few of them. Vidme, DTube, Streamit, Vimo, Patreon. I don't know too much about them. Should I mirror to one of these sites? Do you know anything about any of them? Would it be worth it to do that? Keeping in mind a couple of things here. Number one is that if I mirror it on another site, that is if I put videos up on YouTube and then put them up over there also, it would mean a lot more work because I would have to put alternative content on the other site in all fairness. You know, because I mean, like, who wants to watch a video on YouTube and then go and watch the same video on, say, Patreon? That It's not fair to ask people to do that. So I would have to you know, if I put two videos here and put them up on the other site also, I would have to put something else up that week different in all fairness to people who are going through the trouble to hunt me down and watch it on another site. So there's that to consider. The other thing to consider is, and this is a bigger spectrum discussion here, what YouTube is doing is a war of attrition against the YouTube creators conglomerate if you will all of the YouTube creators content creators on YouTube who go through the effort of making videos of putting on a production whatever that are getting sand kicked in their face by YouTube basically it's a war of attrition and not against them as a group but individually because we all don't know each other all the people who put content on here don't know each other aren't connected to each other have very little way of getting together to fight it as a group 
So we're being targeted individually in this way to basically shut us down or make us go away or make up excuses to get rid of us. And it's happening to hundreds of thousands of creators. A, a lot of people are suffering under this new policing that YouTube is doing. And it's not really even YouTube either, it's Google. Because as many of you are probably aware, YouTube is sold out to Google. Google came along with a big fat check and Google said, yeah, we're in. And so it's Google doing it. Google is policing everybody. So, since it's a war of attrition and Google has unlimited funds, what do they care if they run YouTube completely into the ground and destroy it? And it goes the way of, of MySpace and just evaporates into the cyberspace, cyber, cyberspace whatever. <laughs> And then, if one of these other systems, one of these other uh, video outlets like VidMe or DTube or something gets to be as popular as YouTube was, what's to stop Google from buying them out? Because they'll sell out for the same reason YouTube did. They're in business to make money. They don't have any integrity. What the hell do they care? You make a, you make a dollar sign big enough and they can buy them out too and do the same damn thing. So I go to say stream it and mirror the site there and start all over again and build an audience all over again. And then they swoop in and, and nail that place and then I gotta go through it all over again. There's that to consider also. I mean, when's the last time you saw a company demonstrating any type of actual integrity, whether you agreed with what they were doing or not? In recent memory, how often? Chick-fil-A? Uh, Hobby Lobby, when Hobby Lobby uh, butted heads with the U.S. government over over the um, Affordable Health Care Act insurance, they didn't agree with it. They were getting fined something ridiculous, like a like fifty or hundred thousand dollars a day for not cooperating, and still wouldn't back down. It's uh, it's very few and far between that a company will demonstrate any kind of integrity especially if the price tag is big enough. I could see Google buying all of these out and doing the same damn thing. So I don't know. I mean, I'm just asking for some opinions here because I'm getting a little sick and tired of, of uh, getting treated that way. Like I said, it was sanctioned before it was even loaded, before the video was even done processing. And then it won't get evaluated. See, that their qualifications for evaluation has changed again. Now... It was, they would evaluate you if you had like something like 10,000 lifetime views or something. Now it's, if your video gets a thousand or more views per day, they'll evaluate it. Well, most YouTube creators don't get that many views. And they're certainly not going to get that many views if they've been sanctioned and they're not in regular search results. And then if they do make enough regular views to merit being investigated if they you know if let's say i had a million subscribers and every one of my videos got like 50,000 views then by the time they got around to reviewing it 30 to 60 days to actually have someone physically watch the video the the time where it would have counted has already elapsed so they still got you <laughs> it's it's really awful but yeah, I'm just throwing it out there, people. What do you think? You know, do you, have you seen any of these sites, the VidMe, DTube, StreamIt, uh, Vidmo, Patreon, or do you know of some others that are any good? Have you seen any of them? What do you think of them? Do you think it would be a good idea? Put it in the comment section below and just let me know what you think. Because at the very least, I feel like I should mirror onto another site because I'm not getting anything done here. I'm really not. Like I said, I have a small, it's a small channel. I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I'm trying here. I'm just trying to have an opinion, talk about, tell stories from my life, whatever. And some people seem to appreciate it, so I don't mind doing it, but I could also see it completely disappearing from YouTube. 
So just let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to see it.